I actually, in my clinical practice, try to give a, a very a simplified version of how heart attacks occur to my patients. I generally use drawings. Uh, I try to give them a sense of uh, the cross-section of the artery uh, and then uh, how, how it is seen from inside and what happens uh, when it starts and how it grows and how it end up with, ends up with myocardial infarction and I try to, uh, uh, to um, tell them the importance of uh, oxidized LDL and some other factors within this context of vulnerability. I, I try to introduce the, uh, the uh, inflammation. I think that's a very difficult concept to, to convey to the lay public. Inflammation which is usually associated with, uh, with infection. Uh, so I think we have a long way to go to really convey this message of, of vulnerability, uh, particularly when I think that it is so complex for us uh, to understand the full scope of vulnerability. But I think that it is important to, uh, uh, to give the message to, uh, to the lay public that, th that there, is, uh, there is more than just gradual narrowing of the pipes uh, uh, that's going on in here. And it also can be tied, I, I sometimes tie this explanation of vulnerability to the uh, general health of the vasculature and perhaps the general health of the body uh, and how it should, it can only be affected really in the, in the real terms uh, by, uh, by major lifestyle changes in the general uh, well-being of, uh, of the human being.